Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be planting out some of the basil plants that um, I have rooted. Look at all those roots. I think it's funny how some of them have roots all the way up and some of them just have roots on the bottom. So we are going to be planting these to replace some of the ones I started from seed that did not make it. Um, and then I had a squirrel come out and dig up another one that did make it. Um, so that one's gone. Um, I still do have quite a few basil plants out here. We just really love basil. So I am going to have a multiple going. And then um, I'm going to add some into the wine barrel tub that I have my tomatoes in. And I will also be starting seeds for um, the blue spice basil, which I really like. Um, so that one kind of has like vanilla undertones. It's really good. So I'll put those around um, the tomato plants. I do like basil around my tomato um, for some for sacrifice because if we get caterpillars, that's the first place they'll go. Um, and I'll be able to see right away that they're there before they climb up, they get all the way up the tomatoes. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, basil plants out of the water. And you can see the root system here. Um, I'm going to try something new this year. The azomite seems to have been working well with all my plants so far. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and coat the roots in the azomite to help give those guys a little bit of a good start. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one in here. I wanna make sure those roots go all the way down. Um, I don't want azomite all over that basil. We won't be eating these bottom leaves anyway, so I'm not super worried about that. So you can see it's down in the hole. And because these ones are touching the bottom, I don't want them on the dirt because they will be more likely to have fungus issues. Make sure that's in there good. And then I'll water that guy in. Now, this one may not look super great. I should have hardened these off and I didn't. Uh, today we're going to be in the 70s. Uh, this bucket doesn't get total full sun though and then um tomorrow will be in like 55 with rain and the next week will be in the 80s so it's gonna slowly work its way up but it should be good um these guys do need to get acclimated to the sun though okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing again with the next ones I get some good root growth and pop it into the spot on the green stalk. And then this one, I'm going to keep the leaves just propped up on the edge. And hopefully, that guy will take off good. So I already put the hole in this one. I'm going to go ahead and take out this guy. Did just break that leaf off. Put those roots in. Get him ready to go. While we're out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on with the green stalks. Um, so these are our collards that we were growing over the winter. And um, they're doing good still. Uh, they're taking off. And then our kale from over the winter is starting to bolt. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim these and dehydrate them. Um, the other kale... 
is also bolting. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that one out. The nasturtiums are growing. Uh, we got calendula across the top that is darkened up their leaves and are growing. I am starting to notice a few spots where I'm getting uh, yellower leaves and you'll see that in a few places. So I'm going to be um, fertilizing with the fish fertilizer and making sure that I get some good nutrients in the soil. This is a new soil that I'm using this year. So um, it's good to know that it seems to need a nitrogen. So we got the mint is taking off really well. Our herbs on the bottom are doing extremely well. I've already harvested the pineapple sage. We harvested the uh, pineapple mint. And then the lemon balm, I've harvested some. So overall, this thing is doing really good. We did, I did take some of the strawberry mint and I've been putting that in uh, my tea. Love that stuff. So we've got lots of good stuff going. Those are little egg plants down there. And then this planter is pretty much fully planted now. Um, we have the different um, Agastache. I call it Gostache, but I think it's Agastache. Um, they are up here in the hyssop. So they are darkening and they're growing, which is good. And then we have our regular basils and our lettuce leaf basils on this row. And then we have our peppers here. Our sweeter peppers are on this top row. And you can tell like this one definitely seems like it needs some nitrogen. Um, and then our hotter peppers are on the bottom row. And then we have our marigold and our zinnia. And then the bottom has the different basil plants. Um, and this is where the something had dug into the bottom portion of this. So I'm not sure what it was, but uh, it definitely, pretty sure it was squirrel and it got a few things. My little beans are coming up, so excited about these. So, See, some of our tongues of fire are coming up now. Like a little happy birthday to our little bean. You can see it's starting to come up here. Um, this one looks like it might have rotted. So I'll give it a little bit longer and then I'll replant anything that didn't come up. And then this is the wine barrel. And I've got the Berry's Crazy Cherry down there. And our um, new one, it's a black strawberry. And then a nasturtium and a basil. And I'll put another basil down in here. So now that I have the basil uh, transplanted and put in, um, I'm gonna take the mints that I did earlier uh, in the week, the, over the last weekend, and I'm gonna wash out these containers and transfer the mints into those so that way they can root well um, and not be in that glass that I had done them in. And so it's really easy to just take a little bit of basil um, and propagate it and so you can buy one plant and get multiple plants out of it it's going to keep branching out and so that is what uh, my project is in the garden today is getting the mint out uh, mint propagated putting the basil out and uh, then using some fish fertilizer this weekend to make sure everything's getting the nitrogen uh, that it needs Thank you for joining along with us on our journey. Uh, we are apartment gardeners here in zone 9B in Northern California. I'm allowed to have three planters, so outside. And so that's why I have one tub with the tall tomatoes and then uh, their heirloom tomatoes. And then the other two tubs have, uh, are you, I'm using the towers because they count as one container each. So I'm crossing my fingers that everything works smooth um, this summer with these and uh, that we get a great harvest. Um, make sure you subscribe to follow along with the journey. Uh, we have some other fun videos coming out soon. Um, I'll be sharing how to make mustard and also uh, soon I should be doing one on um, waterproofing some matches uh, just to have for emergency preparedness. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest to your day and we'll talk to you soon.